Hello, Charles from American Life 365. In this video, I'll continue to share with you the second part of how to correct the BMW ABS DSC errors. If you haven't watched the first part of the video to correct the ABS DSC errors, you can view the video from the link in the comments of this video. In the first part, I showed how to diagnose the DSC error caused by the ABS pump failure and the removal procedure of ABS pump. My method to remove ABS pump is to directly position the pump and remove it. Basically, it is easy to remove the pump. The steps are basically to remove the air filter box first and then locate the brake fluid reservoir and pump the brake fluid out. Then open the protective cover under the car. Disconnect the brake fluid pipe from the DDE ABS pump unit. Unscrew and remove the DDE ABS pump unit. After removing the DDE ABS pump unit, I bought a used pump from the internet with the same model and part number. It is a refurbished part. It is possible to use the refurbished pump. Basically, a pump is a motor with wearable brushes and bearings. These parts can wear out the other parts of the motor are untouchable copper wires with magnetic hardware, which is not easily damaged. If the brushes and bearings of the pump are replaced with the new parts, the motor should be the same as a new motor. There are four screws I use the Allen wrench and to open and detach the pump from the DDE unit. Then gently pull the pump out of the unit. Since it is hard to open by hand, I use a knife and to open it a little bit. Then I can use hand to pull it out. After I pull it out, I try to remember the pipe's positions. Actually, you can't make mistake because the pipe, everything designed is special, so you can't make any mistake. I compare the two pumps and they are exactly same. Then I just insert the new one back to the GDE unit. Screw them together. When you screw
pull them together. Don't use too much forces. You just gently and fasten them several rounds. The part is made of mm -hmm. aluminum, so be careful, gently. Then add back the triangle holder. For convenience, uh, I detached the, the holder first before we start to replace the pump. Now we put it back. Now the unit is ready to install back. It is quite easy to install it back and you just need to fasten these three bolts and to attach this unit to the car body. Reconnect the four input brake fluid pipes and two output brake fluid pipes. Then reconnect the electric connector. Put it back through the opening of protective cover on this car. Okay. Then in this case, there are three bolts and need to be fastened to attach this unit to the car body. The one behind the pump is harder to do it, but it can be managed and to do it. Then screw on, fasten the bolts. Then reconnect the four brake fluid input pipes. The four brake fluid input pipes have uh, different sizes, so you can't make mistake. Then double check the pipes to see if they are properly fastened. Look beautiful. And also connect the two output brake fluid pipes. Very easy. All of the brake fruit pipes are properly reconnected. Well done. Then plug in the electric connector. So the electric connector is connected. The brake fruit pipes are connected and this unit is ready to go. Next is to close up the protective cover on the car. Before we start to test the new ABS pump, we need to bleed Hello, the bricks. From American Life. I have another video how to bleed the bricks. In that video, I shared with you the bleeding procedure. You can view that video. I'll also put the link into this video's comments. After bleeding, then put back the air box all down. After I started the car, the ABS DSC errors are gone. We have hundreds of videos in many aspects of American life. If you like our video, please click the logo to subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Your effort to help us encourage us to make more videos. Thank you.